Yes, uh, I hope you see me. No, now you see me. <laughs> Hello, hola a todos. Uh, I know there are many uh, also Spanish uh, participants. Uh, um, hello to everyone, to the fellow co-chairs, uh, panelists and, and the participants, and of course uh, to you, Victor. Um, thank you for having me today uh, and for organizing the event and uh, all the contributions we, we, we heard. It was very interesting. Um, so a lot that we can take with us and, and, and work on it and discuss on it in the future. So uh, it was really interesting. Um, also how social enterprises and organizations are at the heart of the green transition and are essentially making um, this transition green and fair. That's one of the main points. It has to be green and fair. Um, so, um, as part of the European Green Deal, uh, the Commission is striving to eliminate the net emissions of greenhouse uh, gases by 2050 and also the European Parliament and to reduce the, the, the fossil resources by promoting the circular economy, economy. So, these targets that we fixed must be done in a manner that is really just and inclusive so that no one is left behind during that transition. Social economy enterprises, they create jobs, they have to make our society and economy more social, sustainable and digital, and they create the jobs of tomorrow. And that's a great hope for the young generation here in the European Union. Um, but they should also have the excluded and the most disadvantaged in our society. Um, a key aspect of this is ensuring investment into people, their ideas, their creativity, their innovational spirit, um, and not just focusing on profit. Profit is okay, <laughs> but should be reinvested for social benefit. Um, so um, thank you to all the, the panelists of today. Merci beaucoup <laughs> à tout le monde. Uh, we heard from Dirk, renewable, renewable energy. Um, it was fascinating, uh, the initiative uh, where cit citizens join your own and participate, participate in renewable energy projects. Um, we heard about uh, great traineeships, which is very important. That was one of the um, I will be one of the rapporteurs of, of, of the next traineeships and uh, clean energy um, synergism um, on the project in London was very fascinating. So thank you for that. Also, Socha, I hope I spelled it right. <laughs> if not, then tell me. <laughs> I will do better next time. Um, also for the need of decent housing. Housing is also a great problem in Luxembourg. Um, and I think there is a shift. There is a shift in thinking of, of making it more sustainable in the future. Um, so uh, that's the next step. And that I think there is where social economy drops in also. Um, it's not just about money, but also about um, enterprises and companies that care and that do that. So I think that's the next uh, step after we have, I hope, uh, overcome this pandemic. Um, so, and Berna and Andrea, um, social economy and finance, very important. Uh, access to credits are so important for all these innovative uh, companies uh, and those people, um, especially as uh, ethical banks, um, just because we talked about a lot about um, um, also green and sustainable bonds and financing. So uh, as I come from Luxembourg, I, I can say that Luxembourg is one of the fourth one in, in, in green financing. Uh, Luxembourg listed 2007, the first green bond. And just a month ago, it, um, it um, uh, issued the first social bond so that social projects are supported. And I'm really, <laughs> I really can say I'm really lucky about that uh, because um, green 
is important, sustainable is important, but also the social um, aspect. So uh, it was under the show program, just to be just to be clear. As a shadow of the ESF plus, so the European Social Fund plus um, program, um, I know that the regulation lays down provisions in order to create a market ecosystem to increase the supply of and access to uh, finance uh, for social enterprises, as well as to meet the demand from those who need it most, in particular, unemployed women, vulnerable people who wish to start up or develop micro enterprise, a micro enterprise. So um, this objective, just to, to give an answer also to those who ask which funds uh, will, 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 will finance that, this objective will also be addressed uh, through financial instruments and uh, budgetary guarantee under the social investment and skills policy window of the InvestEU fund. So we heard many panelists today and it was a great, great exchange. I would really like to thank you. And just as a final comment, I want to say that on the social um, perspective, the lockdown measures have affected every one of us, everyone in the society, everyone in the EU. Um, but the impact has been uneven, so resulting in new inequalities, and we should tackle that. And we can tackle that with all the great people who are investing in social economy with their ideas for a better society. So let's do that. And let's really work for the next generation EU. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Monica, thank you very much for this intervention. And indeed, uh, the social economy, uh, thank you also for having stayed a bit longer. And, uh, and of course, we, uh, we understand that you will leave at any, at any moment uh, to join the boats. But